Hey guys, okay, so today I have for you a cute little farmhouse build. Um, I sound a little nonplussed with this build. I really, really, really like it. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It's kind of sort of Waltons-esque, if you're familiar with like American television. Um, the reason I am nonplussed with this build though is literally every part of it fought me. The build itself fought me. You'll see me struggle so hard with windows and with the roof. Um, the video itself, the reason it's running so fast is because it's really skippy and there's like a bunch of weird cuts and stuff where I either forgot to record or the recording sort of failed halfway through or all kinds of different things. And then I literally just finished dealing with this video and my mic died halfway through the audio. <laughs> like my fancy headset died, so I'm trying to do this kind of um, bootleg style, so you'll probably hear all sorts of background noise and all kinds of things, and you're on an inline mic, so you'll probably hear me messing with the inline mic, um, but hey, you know what, that's the fun of it, um, these windows specifically become a theme, those on the little bump out, I move those around so much it's ridiculous, like, I'm in the middle of, like, furnishing inside, and I'm moving the bump out windows, it's kind of hilarious, yeah, see, there's a major skip, um, I do really like how this house turned out though. It's very cozy. I built a little family for it. It's a mom and dad and twin boys. One's kind of a genius and one's super sporty and um, like naturally athletic. And they share a little room upstairs. There's, I do end up switching out that window. No, I, I keep that window. I end up switching out the other window and it doesn't stay this yellow. I kind of like looking at it, I was really excited to have a little yellow house because I live um, in a yellow farmhouse, but this is too yellow. This is like cartoon yellow, so it doesn't get changed. Um, I was playing around with the idea of brick, but I ended up not keeping the brick, which I think was a smart choice in the end because it would have been too much. Because it is kind of a big box, but it's like a cute box, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the red there that you saw briefly go through, that was a poor choice. We're not going to talk about that. I started with a lot of StrangerVille stuff um, because we're in the Stranger world, world. We're up on the bluffs, um, and they have a, a kick-in view, which I think you see in the screenshots a little bit. But I ended up trading most of the Strangerville stuff out for like Parenthood and um, Cats and Dogs. And actually a decent amount of base game, I think, too. But but the mom is super gardeny. Um, so there's going to be like a little flower arranging um, desk on the porch and a lot of landscaping. And the boys get to run around and be rambunctious. I don't put a fence around the yard because A, it would kill the view. Um, but two, I imagine all the little friends coming to play. You can see sort of the old ornate houses are still in the background. I'll probably replace those with family houses at some point. But yeah, I really, I really end up liking this build a lot. And I put a lot of fall stuff kind of around. There's a lot of candles. There's some pumpkins on the front because it's fall where I am and it's cozy and it just came in like crazy. Just a huge rainstorm and all of a sudden the temperatures dropped like 20 degrees. So. I am ready for fall and for the holidays, and I do fix that window that's wrong up in the peak there. That does get fixed. I realize it when I decide against um, the roof decorations, but um, yeah, and I love the little decorations on the porch. Like, you don't even see them that much, but the little, like, uh, the words just escape me, but the headers. And I believe I fix the paint on the porches, but if I don't, I will fix that before it goes up in the gallery. It hasn't made it up in the gallery yet. Um, also, you won't see it in the build, but the gallery version does have a fire alarm, and it does. I do move the table in the kitchen, which will make more sense in a minute. Um, you won't see me do those in the video or in the screenshots, but the sim did get stuck, um, and I, he lit himself on fire as well, so I changed those. Um, it, it's functionally the same. There's just those little quality of life things, like your sim not magically dying. The layout was kind of interesting because I wanted a little entryway, which I do end up getting. I wanted a mud room, which turned out really great. I'm really excited about it. Um, I wanted a huge back porch, which we've already got going. And then I wanted a Jack and Jill bathroom, which that's the only thing that didn't happen. So we'll have to do another build when we do a Jack and Jill. Um, but I got almost everything I kind of wanted out of a little farmhouse. The upstairs layout is funkier. It's not quite as, as nice. And it would take some work, like if you didn't use the family, I built which should be up on the channel here shortly um like if you did like a little boy and a little girl you could switch out the kids bathroom and then make the ensuite like uh the family bathroom sorry my brain died for a minute there but it, it is funky see like the boys have like the long skinny room and then the bathrooms are huge but the rooms are small but it's a rendered old farmhouse so like that makes sense um, and then the furnishings are very much, I tried to, to do the furnish, I'm just like, like mentally putting markers down because I, um, I built this over multiple days, so I put markers in to remember the layout. Um, 
the 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 furnishing was kind of done as sort of a like it's a new family moving in and so they have some of their newlywed furniture for maybe like an apartment um they've been gifted some things you know like maybe a family member gave them that weird uh green chair which i don't think stays green somebody gave them that couch maybe they inherited the desk something like that so it's kind of a mishmash of colors and textures because that's kind of how it is in real life um with new families that tends to be how they start decorating until one day they all get frustrated with it and then go through and actually um, decorate how many they intended, move their empty nesters now or something. I'm uh, I'm 24 and, and everything is still a mishmash in my parents' house. So, you know, maybe that never happens. I don't know. But I really like how it turned out. It's, it feels very warm and cozy and lived in and I'm really happy with that. I also really like that table. I don't think I've ever used that table before and I'm kind of in love with it now. It's a cool shape kind of maybe mid-mod, I don't know, it's really pretty, um, or not mid-mod, what's the style I'm looking for, basically it's just very 70s, <laughs> what's the, what's the intention behind that, but it's, it's cool, this, you will see me fight with this for so long, this mantle, I come back to it later, because it's so hard to decorate, that was the theme of this house, was there's just nothing fits in the slots, it, I've never, like, I don't really play with CC a lot, a lot, but man, I've never wanted to go get CC more. Because I was like, I want this house to feel just slightly bursting at the seams. And that's really hard when nothing fits on shelves. <laughs> Ugh, we need more little things. That's okay. But yeah, see, like, maybe they inherited this desk. Because it doesn't really match anything else they have. Um, but it's cute, and it makes sense for the house. So, um, and I do end up getting rid of this chair because I had the idea of the dining table being, um, having leaves, which means the table could bump out and get bigger and you put little slots of wood in, or you can make it smaller and have little slots of wood pulled out. Um, like my table does that. And so when it's small, like it is in the kitchen right now, you don't use all of the chairs. You put the chairs somewhere else or, um, you, you know, use them. And so I have them sitting at the desks and then like for holidays or whatever, you put the leave in and then you pull the chairs back in. And so that was kind of the idea. So there'll be four chairs around the table, and then if you wanted to get that into gameplay, you could switch up the table for something bigger and bring the chairs. Um, that's not really the way the Sims play, but that's kind of the way I thought about it. And I do really like, I, these aren't the final chairs that go with it. They're the ones I think that stay the longest, but they're not the, the chairs that make it into the final build. This kitchen darn near killed me. The windows didn't work. The layout took forever to figure out. I don't actually mind the fridge where it is i don't think in real life i would like it at all i think in real life there, it would result in a lot of dropped food and a lot of like frustration um but for the sims it works just fine uh that plant specifically i think is why i have to had to bump the table out slightly because the sim got stuck but it's fine it's cute it works and the table is not in the way when you bump it out so it's not a big deal yep more moving of those windows honestly i did that so many times i got so sick of those windows at one point i was like what if the bump out just didn't have windows but it's so cute that I, I wanted them um this is another thing that ended up disappearing later on the vent hood because I, I got one and i was really excited um and it fit i don't think it lasts as long in the speed build but for me it was a couple hours it was in there and i was really happy and then i spun around um because i'm a dork and didn't check and it was just stuck out the back of the house <laughs> it was too big and then it looked silly when i pulled it forward so um, in the final pictures, it'll be a little bit of Mimi herbs and some uh, utensils, but in the gallery version, it's the utensils and the fire alarm. Because I forgot the fire alarm, but it's okay. I'm really proud of this. I'm sure a million other people have done this, but it was kind of an exciting new thing for me. I hid the shelf so that the top of the fridge had slots. The top of my fridge is covered in things, and I wanted it to look like that here i wanted it to look really really lived in and cluttered and awesome and uh not a lot fits on slots but we tried um i think we would just end up putting another set of peppers up there in a different color but you know it looks like there's stuff up there and that's that's what's important and there's some cookbooks and stuff up there and they're not actually cookbooks but you can pretend and, and, and yeah i'm really happy with it so uh you do need to turn on move objects if you use this house otherwise like 90 percent of the house will disappear so definitely turn on move objects um before you place the house um, and I will go ahead and put that in the description as well, but it's worth it's worth repeating a couple of times. Turn on move objects, because the house will just disappear. Yeah, a little entryway, because it's a farmhouse. It's not on a huge lot up here in Strangerville, but if you were to put it on like a 64 by 64 or like a 50 by 50, you could have a, a like a, the look of a farm. You could have lots of gardening and stuff. Um, and when you live on a farm, everything is dirty all of the time. Um, so you want a little entryway to capture <laughs> that mud, take off your muddy boots, take off your wet coat. 
I also have a mudroom for that reason. Um, and this is one of the few houses that I've built that has laundry in it. I always forget to put laundry in. I love the pack. It has cute things. Um, I like the functionality behind it. It adds a lot to gameplay, I think, but I never think to put it in houses when I'm building. I always have to shoehorn it in after I start playing, which is super annoying. Um, but yeah, I actually remember this time it's all in the mudroom. It's really cute. It's possibly my favorite room in the house. Um, hmm, I don't know if that's true. I really like the little boy's room, too. Although the little boy's room is weirdly laid out. Yeah, maybe the mud mudroom is my favorite. Uh, lots of curtains. Um, and here in a few minutes, I'm going to put a dog bed in front of that shelf. And I think the Sims can use it? Question mark. I didn't player test that. Almost everything else got player tested. Ignore me being a dumb here. I didn't realize that window had slots on its own. Um, but I, I, I didn't player test specifically that bookshelf. I will try to remember to do that, but if not, you can move the bookshelf, uh, move the dog bed or the bookshelf. But there's some bookshelves upstairs that um, are usable, so it's fine. It shouldn't matter too much. There's actually kind of bookshelves all over the house. That wasn't an intention. It just looked really homey, so I put bookshelves all over. Little half bath here. Um, it's a two bedroom, two and a half bath, so that your guests don't have to use either the kids' bathroom or the master master bathroom. Um, and also, like when you're busy doing stuff, you don't have to run upstairs, which is nice. Um, the floors kind of fought me a little bit because, yeah, that floor that I wanted to use, it took a little bit. I cut it out. Um, it kept switching back. Like, you know you can flip the uh, floor floorboards. It was not a fan. It kept flipping back. There's our little laundry um, situation. The shelves kind of clip here in a minute, you'll see. But the laundry does work. She ran a load. So, yeah. There's me just throwing stuff out on the, the back porch, too, because there were things that I kept finding, like, searching through. Um, cause I'm so bad at the names, like I can never search for anything cause I'll be like, ah, it's a doohickey. That's not helpful. So when I find something, I just usually throw it where I want it. Or throw it out in the yard if I just want to remember to use it later on. The shelf isn't my favorite thing, um, cause I end up going with four of the same plant to just try to make it work. But I wanted something on that wall, and I think it works okay. It would definitely be like, maybe you could put like little tchotchkes or something you collect throughout gameplay on that. I don't really know. There is pet stuff all over the house. Um, but when I made The Sims for this house, which you obviously don't have to play with, but if you do, they don't have um, a cat and or a dog, even though the house is set up for it, because there's a stray system in the game, um, which I don't think maybe the strays come Strangerville. I know they're in, uh, is it Frindleton Bay as the Cats and Dogs World? Um, but you can go like on the computer and adopt an animal, and I thought that would be really fun for the little boys to be able to like, pick their animal, they're not just given one. Um, or pick their animals because there is cats and dogs space in here or you could have multiples it's a little four person um four sim family so you could have what four pets which would be a huge huge household but you could do it if you wanted to um, but i thought it'd be fun for the boys to pick it's a point in that so yeah this little landing area is in my opinion ridiculously cute um it's got a little seating area um i end up putting bookshelves on the wall and then I decorate the snot out of them. There's an excessive amount of screenshots of this bookshelf because I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, and there's literally bookshelves on top of bookshelves in this this little setup. And there's all kinds of little stuff to put on it. So yeah, I spent um, too much time maybe would be the answer here <laughs> doing that. Um, but it looked really cute and I'm happy that it turned out. You almost can't tell it's the same thing repeated three times almost. So that's nice. Um, some of those who have been paying attention notice I keep calling it an ensuite in the master bedroom, but it's not currently because the door is out on the landing. That does change. I do remember that. Um, I remember to fix that. Um, so yeah, that'll, that'll get fixed here in a minute. I think I save and quit and come back to it before it gets fixed, but it does get fixed. Um, and then a desk goes there. I put a little desk out with a cork board, which I'm pretty sure I remember to record, but if I didn't, it's in the screenshots, so it's fine. But um, And there'll be a cat tree in there too, which I add later on. I do, yeah, I decorate this shelf up a little bit. I think the Sims can use it, but I'm not really sure. So see, that's one of those things where I confuse with real life, because like my dog's beds are in front of some things, and so I just walk over the top of them when they're not using them. I don't know. I don't know if that's a Sim thing. That feels like maybe that's not a Sim thing. I don't know. More miscellaneous decoration. I really wanted it to feel kind of like they were bursting at the seams a little bit. Like they're just such a, a family full of life and love that the house can't hardly contain it. Um, yeah, so, and then the, the living room is so cozy, like, I kind of want to curl up in there now. I know everyone says that, and it's super weird. Oh, I'm jealous of my Sims. Not jealous of my Sims. This house would be a bear to clean, right? 
<laughs> this house would be a monster to keep clean, especially with two little boys. However, their living room has some cozy vibes, and I'm cool with it. Um, it's fall. I'm all into the cozy right now. Lots of posters in the boys' room. Giant bathroom for the boys. But I guess as they turn into teenagers, and then maybe even young adults living at home, maybe that's not such a huge bathroom for two adults. Feels like kind of monstrous for two little boys, but it'll grow with them. Lots of decoration in here, lots of alt placing, but it works. Uh, I took a picture at that point, screenshot. Dude, I I misclick in The Sims so darn often. I have a whole screenshots folder, not of like cute memories, just of basically what would be the equivalent of like thumb pictures, right? Like I didn't mean to take them. They're all weird. <laughs> I just hit the wrong button because, yeah, because I can never remember the keyboard uh, shortcuts or I didn't even mean to hit the keyboard. I dropped something on it, like a pen, like that was really common. Or I was like trying not to spill my soda. I don't know. So yeah, there's all kinds of those things. But and little kids have homework space. They can also use the other desks. Um, I think maybe both of the desks have laptops. Well, at least one of them does. So one of them is probably not super homework friendly unless somebody were to take the laptop, which you'll have to watch because they will pocket it. Yeah, here's the cute little desk. Again, maybe another little hand-me-down desk. Um, with the chairs and the chairs. I change one more time. This master bath doesn't kind it really, I'm torn <laughs> because it doesn't fit the rest of the house, but that's, that was kind of the intention. I love, side note, you just saw me like budge the door over. That is the best. The new window and door placing, that is the best. I love that. So the whole reason this bathroom, going back to the bathroom, the whole reason this bathroom is the way it is, is because I liked the fixtures on this tub and I liked the tub over there. And it's one of those swatch situations where the only swatches that match is all of the jungle adventure stuff which then led itself to be a little more modern than the house is and that was really annoying but then i got to thinking as um like it doesn't really need to match the rest of the house because they could have redone it right they bought this old farmhouse it makes sense that they would redo the bathroom and there may not have even been an ensuite on this bedroom originally um, who knows, it could have been a sleeping porch or all kinds of different things that they've been turned into an ensuite because that's what worked for their family. Um, and then to justify it even further, I was like, well, when I lived at my parents' house, they had, like, their whole house was, like, gray and greens and reds. And then they had a teal bathroom. It was really pretty. Like, I make it sound really ugly. It was really pretty. It was nicely done, but it didn't fit the rest of the house. But it was the way um, that they wanted to do the bathroom. It was really cute. So I was like, that's what this family did. Um is they just decided their ensuite was going to be really sort of like spa-like, oasis-y, um, really sort of warm, like long day respite kind of situation. So yeah, it's done in Jungle Adventure, which makes no sense for this house. I do like this bathroom though. It's not my taste. Um, like given a blank slate and all the money in the world, I don't think that's how I would do a bathroom. However, I absolutely don't hate it at all. Um, I do not mind it in the slightest. Every time I alt place, you'll see me saving because I had so many crashes. Dude, this build, I don't even, you guys, <laughs> my goodness, everything about this video is just something else, but that's okay. Uh, this bedroom is tiny, and for a master, it is small. Um, it also doesn't help that I was trying to put giant furniture in here, um, which I do end up picking a different bed and an entirely different layout, and I like the way this room turns out. It's cute, and it's yellow. I did try to, like, fudge the bathroom. Um, and I thought about budgeting the boys' bathroom, but I did, it ends up working out. It ends up working out pretty cute. Um, I wanted it to look really farmhousey. I thought maybe when the mom was decorating, she decided that she really wanted to like honor the age of the house in this one. So we ended up picking that really cute bed, which I, I feel like I use a lot lately since I've found it. It's really cute. It's kind of in your face. It's definitely its own its own style, but I like it a lot. So we went with blues and yellows. And I can absolutely, like if I bought an old farmhouse, which I do live in an old farmhouse actually now that I've said that, if, <laughs> but it's not mine, but um, if I were to like be renovating an old farmhouse at an initial point, I could see myself doing a bedroom like this. I could, I could see myself maybe having this be my guest room. Um, I don't think there's enough storage in here for it to be like my bedroom, but I could absolutely see it being a guest room. And I did put a TV in because let's face it, their parents are two young boys. They need a, a, a safe space to go watch like whatever like nighttime dramas they want to watch or maybe the mom needs a place to go watch like a telenovela every now and again i don't know anyways look parents need a respite was my point and like having a tv in there they can actually watch what they want to watch for a change and not cartoons then it would be nice campers in the bedrooms not in the bathrooms i've seen it both ways i put them in the bedrooms this time 
decorated the attic. So you can't get into the attic, but you can live pull the holiday boxes down. So you can use those. And there's some old junk in there that you might want to incorporate into the story if you play this house. Um, just some fun junk to, to play with. And I lit it up with just some old lanterns in there so that it glows in the evenings. Um, that's not my idea. I think I stole that from Little Simsy. But, um... Yeah, and there's my pumpkins and stuff, but, oh, anyways, the point I was making is there's probably, like, in a house like this, there'd probably be, like, a pull-down for the attic, would be my guess, which would be, like, where, like, the ceiling tile flips down and then there's, like, a ladder. Um, but The Sims doesn't have that, and I was not going to just put a ladder somewhere for them to get up to a space they didn't need. If you needed another bedroom, though, you could maybe pop the roof up a little bit and put a bedroom in there. Now that I'm thinking about it, that might be how you, like, legacy this house or something a little bit. I don't know. I did love those pumpkins. I didn't get to talk about them a lot, but I put them on the front porch, and they're very cute. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that item before, which blew my mind, and I was like, oh my god, it's fall. So all those pumpkins went on the front porch, and I love them. Um, and there's some like fall candles and stuff inside. Um, and then with the holiday boxes, you can absolutely decorate for Spooky Day and all of that. Is it Spooky Day? What do they call Halloween in The Sims? I don't know. Anyways, you could decorate for whatever The Sims original Halloween is, and uh, you know Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love the hollyhocks. I have hollyhocks all over um, throughout. I think I stuck them in a couple of different places anyway. Or at least my intention was to. Because we have hollyhocks where I live and they're the prettiest thing. And they're hardy, man. You can't kill those. Um, unless you're actively, like, really, really trying. But they're, they're pretty new gardener friendly. But I went a little wild with the flowers. Because she's a gardener, Sam. And she loves being outside and with nature. And I liked the idea, too, because of the way the lot was already colored. And outside the lot. That she had worked really hard to like get the grass to grow, to get the plants to grow, to really make it a green space within the desert. Um, little bee box. There are some, I did hide some um, cacti around because the desert is obviously fighting back. But it's it's really luscious and she's worked really hard on making it a green space. And I did move the swing set because initially I had it right next to the bees. And while I'm sure that's probably not a game mechanic, I couldn't, um, I couldn't fathom putting kids toys right next to bees. So here's the front of the house with the little boxes on the windows and all the pumpkins. Uh, there's, uh, I can't remember the twins' names actually. I was going to say, oh, there's one of the twins, but yeah, I can't remember their names. Anyways, here's the entryway, that cozy, cozy living room. Looks like she's watching some TV already. I like the mismatched furniture. I did end up changing them out for the chess table though. Yeah, see here you can see um, I have the dining tables with the desks. The little um, half bath here. Has a two bedroom, two and a half bath. Which is a nice size. The kitchen layout is funky but usable. Um, and yeah, the table will move slightly, um, the rug will move slightly, and the fire alarm will go above the oven. So you'll lose the herbs there. Here you can really see the change to this upstairs room. That is a cat tree in the corner. Um, there's like four different screenshots of this uh, bookshelf because I'm really proud of how it turned out because um, it really looks used and loved and I'm happy with it. So, little boy's room. Um, I tried to split it between their personalities so that you could decorate however you want um, or leave it the way it is and build two completely different boys, but giant boy's bathroom, although I will say the aspect ratio on that photo makes it look bigger than it is. Tiny master, but well loved and well decorated, I think sounding a little arrogant here but it's fine um lots of different angles on that and then the like weirdly updated sort of 90s style bathroom i guess it's not really 90s style but it's sort of that like really like aggressively posh bathroom for like a single family dwelling here's sort of that glow i was talking about in the attic um in the little back porch so which i love so much oh and i have some dog toys over there yeah and there's the flower um arranging table and everything and they're killer, killer view. So, all right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world, and I'll talk to you soon.